We're almost there. Guess what today is. I'll give you a second. Go ahead and guess. You don't have to guess because it's in the title. We're going to the world border of 2B2T today. That's right. I've been saying it for months, but I can actually say it. The world border, I can almost see it now. Whoa. This was my favorite stop. This milestone was actually insane. It's griefed, but you can still see the castle, the barn, the gold farm. There's like a giant tower and even a roller coaster. I don't know. I should wait. I just ate. We should be fine. It was just a turkey leg and a churro. <clears throat> okay. Some cotton candy, two frozen lemonades, and some soup and a bowl of bread. I've already done the calculations. I can eat 15 churros in a row. All I gotta do is just run full sprint everywhere I go for the next month. Totally worth it. For that cinnamon ambrosia. Whoa, look at this, man. And it's so cool that the builders took time out of their day to make this for travelers like me. Or maybe to keep themselves from being bored. Or maybe I didn't look at the bottom and this is an elaborate Rue Goldberg machine designed to make my day horrible. Actually, no, it's a perfect roller coaster. Let's go. Five out of five stars. Would recommend. Whoa. You see the interactive spider jump scare at the end? That was the craziest part. Or maybe the skeleton at the drop? Woo! I'm not kidding. I stayed here for three days. I don't know how many times I rode the roller coaster. But I just spent a little bit of time reading some of the signs, just kind of getting a feel of the story, who was here. I don't know. Some people say the world border is pointless. You just go into a blue wall, right? I'm not even there yet, and I feel like it's already worth it. I feel like I gotta take a leap of faith sometimes. You just gotta go with the flow. I never would have made it this far out on 2B2T. That's why I started making YouTube videos. To try new things and stuff. That's how we started Molecular Tree the channel. Honestly, I had never talked to more than 30 people at a time. And I appreciate every one of you. I just wanted to say that. Just over 3.7 million blocks in the nether. 30 million blocks overworld. This is the world border of 2B2T. We made it. But here's the thing, I've been traveling to the world border since episode 1. We just intentionally got lost a couple times though. I like to ramble while I'm wandering. Think of all the secrets the wandering traders have. So instead of doing like a mosaic over anything I thought was like, ooh, that's bad, you know. I wanted the wall to be what it was, and I wanted you to experience it for what it is. The good, the bad, the everything. I know, bud. I wish we could have got Skelly here too. We left him around the 2 million mark. And I think about it every day. I love that horse. I'm not crying. You're crying. There was a water that had hit a leaf and then it had f fallen right into my eye. I'm not crying. Skelly, you'll see this one day. The groups, the individuals. Think about all the things built and destroyed by these groups and people. I don't know, I feel incredibly fortunate to be able to see this place. It might be griefed, but you still feel that energy. You still feel that feeling, dude. Like we're walking through an echo of the past. Wait a second, that farm looks familiar. That would make a lot of sense. The milestone makers would be the same people who got here first. Maybe? I don't know. I don't have a hard time imagining this place when it was at its prime. I do really love the nomadic lifestyle. Walking around, finding cool places, and building stuff. But this makes a pretty epic case for me wanting to find like another group or something. Maybe build something with somebody. I bet you this was made by the same builders as the roller coaster milestone. I don't know, it looks similar. Beside all this destruction, I can still fall into the beauty here. I don't care if we're stumbling around just trying to figure out where we're going. As long as we can find a nice safe landing when we get there, I don't mind. Wait a second, I can't slow down. Oh. This was the first glance at me figuring out who this was. Look at that banner. Remember what these banners look like. You're going to see them again. Can't even wrap my head around how beautiful it is here. This base is long gone. There's no more parties being held here. It's quiet. Everyone's gone home for the night. We're putting all the cups away. But wasn't that a great party? Didn't that mean something? Remember that party last week? Doesn't it still mean something?
I honestly almost want to do a second episode with how much I have. The mega bases around here, the epic builds, just, I mean, there's so much to do. It's overwhelming how many builds there are. So if you've been debating it, go to the world border. Well, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I'm telling you that it is worth it for me. I, I, this is everything I wanted on 2B. If I can't convince you to go to one of the world borders, that's all right. Maybe these two can. This is just way too crazy. Who do we got here? Dragon food. This beautiful little home is the entrance to the garden. And I almost debated not putting this into the episode. That's crazy. What is the best, most chill area of the world border of 2B2T? The garden and the sewer. You see that banner right there? I was trying to keep it a little under wraps until now, but... This is where the dilemma came in. Almost every single build I saw was made by the same group. Or some group came along and put their banners on everything. I'm not sure, but... Well, there's no hiding that positive Z anymore. This is the positive Z border of 2B2T. I don't know if that's a group or another group that's under that name, but... A lot of the stuff near the canal had the positive border banner on it, so... The surrounding area, we have some smaller, like, little builds. Dude, the Moonanites even made it to 2B. Terry Davis, the programmer? Whoa, map art. This kind of looks like the kind of map art I'd be able to make. Uh, looks a little griefed, but whoa, stepped map art. Oh, let's fly up and see how complete it is. Maybe we can get a full map. Moving right along then. Uh, <laughs> the wall looks crazy at night. I wanted to spend a good amount of time here, generally like within a couple million blocks of here. But I want to put my name up on the wall. Nothing big, nothing crazy. Just a little molecular tree. You don't need to remember me. I am nobody, Polyphemus. I am nobody. All the names, all the journeys, all the epic adventures. It's so crazy, dude. But to be honest, there were quite a few withers when I got here. They were all flying into the air, but I was able to get a few of them, and the other ones I just pulled away from everything that was kind of unique or cool. I did search the surrounding areas though, I knew there would be some builds outside of the border wall area. Bam! And guess what we found? This was another base with a positive Z border banner on it. What is this group up to? You're about to see some crazy builds from them, just hanging out around the border. I don't know why it reminds me of the Waterway Union banner though. But it's on the builds, so I'm assuming it's from them. If it isn't, please, you know, just correct me. I don't mind being wrong. I never do. I'm wrong about something every day of my life, that's for sure. The reason I thought this was all the same builders wasn't from any banner. It was from the wheat farm. The way they build their wheat farms. The roller coaster milestone, the desert vista, this little fishing village. They're world builders. And what I mean by that, the people who built these were thinking about the fictional people who live in this village. You don't have to believe in lore to, to think about managing resources. What do these people make? Do they export or import it? How do they get to work? All of those elements make the build feel like it's complete. Then moving right along, it looks like a 90 or 100 diameter ocean drain. Whoa. Probably just like 15, 20,000 glass. No big deal. But my elytra just broke. It's a pretty good mob farm though. I should probably repair everything. My gear is in shambles. I love this. No way. Dude. Look at this stray on the roof. Dude, the whole aesthetic, the vibe, this is cool. I don't even know if I should go in. It's a little menacing. Looks like you got a couple cavities there. Every single one of these builds has its own, like, life and character. The amount of dedication it took for these groups to build these things, I, I mean, my hat's off to you. It's so cool to be here. Finally. If there's any members who are associated with the Positive Z Border Banner, my hat is off to you. It's pretty wild how much work you did here. Get some sleep. You earned it. You've probably been up all night or months building this. Thousand block bridge over the ocean. I don't even know if I have the willpower to make a bridge over a thousand block ocean. Oh man. The positive Z world border of 2B2T is the coolest place that I've ever been to in Minecraft. Crafting tables? No, those are four wood each. All oh, the beautiful trees of the forest. Unless it was duped. 
awesome build. Let's go make something.